Today, I want to show you the best and easiest way to draft patterns for eight pieces panel skirt. No calculations needed at all. The only thing you need is your basic skirt block. And if you don't have it, no worries at all. Just scroll down my page, my channel here, and then make one for yourself. Now, this dress you're seeing on your screen is an eight pieces panel dress. The lowest part is eight pieces, and I just added the yoke design for the upper section. Once you learn how to make patterns for the eight pieces skirt, you can add any upper section of your choice, or you can decide to make it as a skirt. So without wasting time, let's head over to the table. Let's start drafting our patterns, all right? Oh, and by the way, my name is Egons. I'm a pattern making and sewing instructor. If you find my tutorials helpful, please subscribe and leave me a comment below. Thank you. So to start creating patterns for our eight pieces panel skirt, we are going to trace out our skirt block. So this is my skirt block and I've already traced it out. Make sure you trace it out on a plain sheet of paper. And then you're going to add, um, you're going to lengthen it to your desired length. I've already done mine, I've already lengthened it. And um, since it's an eight pieces skirt, that means that we're going to have four pieces at the back and then four pieces in front, making it a total of eight pieces now remember that we are working with um half block half skirt block half skirt block for the front and half skirt block for the back so for this skirt block now which is the front part we are going to create two panels for it so i'm going to cut it into two or create two panels for it and those two panels we are going to cut two pieces each of of each panel so that will make it four pieces i hope you understand it anyways don't worry as we progress you're going to understand it better so we're going to create two panels here now and this is my center front and to do that you are just going to from this your that point here you're going to um draw a straight line all the way down to your hem just make sure that your line is straight So now you see we already have two panels we have this panel and then we have this panel okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to decide where you want your skirt to flare out so is it directly under the hip is it going to go further than a little bit around your knee or wherever you just want it to flare out you're going to decide so i want my flare to start from somewhere here so you're going to mark your measurements whatever you have here you're going to mark it here as well all right so i'm just using 15 cm below my hip line so it's different for everyone so i'm going to just connect this in a straight line now this line that i just drew here is to serve as a guide we're just going to erase this much later it's just going to serve as a guide nothing nothing serious about it okay it's just for us to know where um where our skirt is going to flare out now because we want it to have a bit of shape where the flare is going to flare out you are going to take in okay from here now this is my center front you are going to take it in about 1 cm, depending on how fitted you want it to be here, maybe 1 cm, maybe 1.5 cm, but I'm going to take my in 1 cm. Now, when you take it in 1 cm, you're going to connect this part to your hip line. Now, make sure you connect it to your hip line, all right? Because if you take off anything from your hip line, the skirt is going to be tight. Now you're going to this other line here you are going to take in or take out one cm just like this and on this other side of the line you're going to take out one cm as well and then you're going to connect them to your hip line just like so and then you connect this other part to your hip line just like so all right so we are building our our shape already now you're going to go to this part and then you're going to take in 
1 cm so your this is my side seam so you're just going to take in 1 cm like that and then you're going to connect this nicely to your hip just like that okay good now that we have this so we're going to walk like this now and then walk like this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use different pens to draw this line so that you don't get confused so the next thing we are going to do now would be for us to create the flare so on your hemline you're going to decide how wide you want it to be so the the wider the centimeters you add um the bigger your flare will be so from here now from this line i'm just going to add let's say about 10 cm you can make yours wider really or you can make yours smaller it really depends on you so from here you add uh, whatever width you want your flare to be i'm adding 10 cm here now you go to this other line here and then you're going to add 10 cm as well so whatever you add here is what you're going to add to this part all right so now you are going to connect this nicely so take note of where i'm connecting it to i'm just connecting it like this and then i'm connecting this this one to this part so okay so you see we've actually created one piece you see it now just like that that's what we have done but now if we leave it like this our flare is not going to be very fine at the hem line and it's not even going to be even when you stitch it so what are we going to do so you're going to measure now from here from where you started your flare so this is my original length from where I started my flare all the way down to the hemline so I have 38 cm here so yours, yours is going to be different anyway depending on the length of your skirt so this is 38 cm so now you come to this line which is not going to be your flat line you're going to measure 38 cm or whatever the value you have here you're going to mark that value there so I've got 38 cm so I'm going to mark my here 38 cm so you see so your flare is going to be nice one is not going to be longer than the other one now you go to this place too this is your flat line this is my flat line you are going to mark this same value there so i've got 38 cm i'm just going to mark it there you see so once you've done that you are now going to connect this nicely in a curve all the way to meet your hemline And then you're going to connect these points nicely all the way to meet your hemline. Okay, so now you see how your flare eats. It's going to be very even. Now, because we are happy with our flare, I cannot redraw this line with my marker so you can see it very well. You see so that's it now you're going to also do the same thing for this other side now for this side again this is our flare this is where our flare is going to start from and this is the line that is serving as our guide you see it here this line here so you are going to measure 10 cm remember you use 10 cm for the others you're also going to use 10 cm here so you're going to mark 10 cm my 10 cm stopped here from here so you connect the points together like so okay so now you go to this other leg this one and then you're going to measure 10 cm outwards and then you mark nicely and then you connect it nicely like so again you're going to again you're going to correct this because one is going to be longer when we stitch it so you're going to measure from here now and put this value here that value was 38 cm it is going to be different for yours you remember so you just mark 
and then you do exactly the same thing for this side as well okay now you're going to use your you're going to connect your mark here to your hemline very nicely so I'm using a different pen so you can see very well So now, because you don't want pointy edges here, you're going to use your French curve and smoothing it out nicely. Now you see, we already have our two panels here. We have this one here, like so, this pop, the one with the purple line. You can see it very well and then we have this other one all the way from the waistline all the way down like that and like that so you see these lines in between we don't need them anymore it's easy right very straightforward no calculations so you're going to repeat this same process for the back side exactly the same thing there's really no difference now the next thing for you to do is you are going to place a paper over it and actually trace it out before you add your seam allowance you can't cut them separately it's not possible so you place a paper over it and then you trace them out separately i'm going to do that and show it to you so you're just going to place your tracing paper over your pattern like this and then you can place your weights on it and then trace out your pattern so let me trace out the first one so you can see it so when you are tracing you're going to ignore the dots because you don't need the dots anymore So you see, this is one of the panels. Now I'm going to add my seam allowance. I'm just going to add 1.5 cm seam allowance all around. So once you finish tracing out your patterns, you're going to have something like this. And I'm just going to place this on it so that you can see how it looks. You see, this is our center front pattern. You see? And then this is our side front pattern. So you see? And then if you work the patterns, you're going to see that they are going to match. So I'm just going to work these patterns to see, to show you that they are going to match. Wow, so you see, they are matching very well at the side seam. So now the only thing you're going to do now will be for you to place your patterns on your fabric and then cut them out. And that's it. Easy peasy. No calculations, right? <laughs> now, let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you're interested in making this full dress, how to draft the patterns and sew it from scratch, and how to attach lining professionally like this, please join my online school it's only 12 euros monthly and you have access to over 40 different courses the link is in the description box below thank you i'll see you soon in my next class bye bye